boys, I got an addiction that I need to talk about. I got an addiction to fried chicken. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Mm. But I love me some fried chicken. Oh my god. Mm. Them seagulls are plucking shad out of that current. Oh, you're gonna get one. You got him one. All them shad laying in the current. The, the big fish, they're gonna be laying in the current too. It's November 20th. Thanksgiving is this week. <laughs> Today's Sunday. I just... Where is the time going? Yeah. So yeah, it's... Uh, Today's Sunday and Thanksgiving is Thursday, of course. I hope you're all having a happy, happy Thanksgiving. I got some, I got some big shiners, and of course I got some bass minnows. I'm not quite ready to walk out on the rocks yet, because I had a friend fishing here last night, and they did the same thing to him as they did to me. No horn blast or nothing. They just raised the water on him and he had to struggle to get out of there just like I had to. So I don't think I'm going out on the rock pile today. I think I'm going to stand right here and try to run some bobbers in that current. Beside the current and there's an eddy on the other side of it. And then after dark I think I'm going to stay here for a little bit and run some of these big shiners into this shallow water after dark the walleye they'll come up into that shallow water looking for bait thank you for joining me i'm glad you're here stand by for adventure do i got any fried chicken in my beard yeah buddy it's cold at least the sun is shining. If I can keep my barber over in that eddy, I'll do pretty good, I think. Take a shout out. Just chilling. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, my God. Oh yes, get up here. Get up here, get up here, yes. Oh, wow. Heck <laughs> yes. Did you see that? Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord.
Oh, yes. Wow, I seen that. I seen that door swing. I thought that was a big walleye. Well, I told God I wanted some dinner. Some, I ain't had any fish. I've been chasing deer. I've been chasing white-tailed deer for the last week. And I ain't fished. Woo, I bet I ain't fished in two weeks. So I've been craving some fresh fish, buddy. We got her. Absolutely. You can do pretty good with shiners this time of year. It's uh, right before winter, so they're trying to fatten up. You can get away with bigger baits. The shiner is, is just more, it's more flash. It's uh, oh. bigger body, it's, you twitch at, it's gonna send out a bigger flash down there draw more attention I can't remember if I was jigging that when that wiper hit it or not I don't think I was but as, as swift as that water is right there the water's going to give you the water's going to give your shiner all the action you need I still like to jig it though bringing it back bring it back Oh, that was down, man. Is that one? <sighs> that was down. He took my bait. Well, that rock broke me off. Gives me an excuse to try out my new rod and reel. I got this new lose. I've been wanting to try. It's like a seven and a half foot rod. Thank you, Keith, for the uh, line clippers. I had it set up to uh, jig some of these shiners after dark, so I had a little heavier jig on here. I'm gonna have to fit a 32 ounce jig on here if I'm gonna stay using a bobber. Um, that jig's just too heavy for one of those, for my little uh, weighted bobber. I've got these 32 ounce uh, eagle claws I custom took my paint pen and put an orange dot on them you see that <laughs> so I've been anxious to try this new rod and reel um, so far I really like it I haven't used it yet I really like the reel uh, the, the rods nice and light too I like that some of my heavier rods I can only jig for so much and start to hurt my arm because I'm old and weak. Stand by. Okay, so my first time using this rod and reel. I might do a review on it. So far, I really like it. I haven't fished with it yet. It's a. I really like the rod. It's light. And the reel. I don't know if I've had a reel that fancy before. I. I think this combo is 80 bucks at the Walmart. So yeah, let's catch a fish with it. I'd like to get a, I don't even think I tied my knot right. I ain't got my readers. That doesn't look right. It's holding though. Let's try this big one. <laughs> Look at the size of this shiner. <laughs> Look at the size of that shiner. Big baits, big fish, right? Man, that's a big old shiner. See how this baby cast? I lined it up with a 20 pound, uh, I forget the name that braid I use what is that called wow hey oh yeah I like this oh yeah I 
I like this riding reel. Wow. I like that. That is a smooth, smooth reel. I think it reels faster than my other ones. I need to catch a big fish on it and break her in. You see my other bobber right there where I broke off. Man, I like that. <laughs> Look at the size of that bait. I got a uh, extra long leader on today, about five feet, a 20 pound fluoric carbon. Because I planned, I planned on jigging the bottom with this. You're like, 20 pound fluorocarbon, man, that's overkill, buddy. Yeah, well, who just caught a wiper on the 20th of November? It's like 20 degrees out. I'm down here catching wipers, you're eating chips on the sofa. What? This thing casts further than my 12 pound braid rod. I like this. If I had 12 pound braid on this one, I bet I could hit the uh, cement up there. All right, let's give this spot a break. No, oh, I'm shad. Give this spot a break and get back into this eddy for a minute. Since I can cast so much further now, I'm trying to remember that brand of braid I got on here. I can't ever remember the word. Oh, don't snag in there. I think I might got another wiper. Oh yeah! I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and review this ride and reel in this episode. There's not one single line that goes to the tail. So I think this, I think this is a silver. Awesome! They taste the same. That's all really matters. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a review on this rod and reel here and just after I get him on the stringer. I'm gonna turn my back to the dam so it's not as loud or maybe you can hear me better. Let's review this. Uh, the Lose Reactors. Uh, speed Spin Reactor. I really like it. Uh, my eye, my uh, line's starting to freeze up. That's how cold it is. My eyes are getting ice on them. But uh, one thing I noticed right away is the seven foot rod. It's pretty comfortable here and here, but I don't hold rods like other people. I hold my rod like that. Isn't that funny? Or stupid, whatever. But I like the seven foot rod, it's stiff. I have a seven foot ugly stick and it's too jiggly. I don't like it. Uh, I've been told that's to put the, uh, whatever, the, uh, the spine up here for whatever. I like stiff fishing rods and uh, this is much lighter than my seven foot ugly stick which is a plus when i'm out here at spillway man i think i tallied it up in one episode how many casts i do you do so many casts the heavier your rod the more fatigue your arm's going to get so i really like the light rod okay 
I, I haven't caught anything big yet with this and put the mustard down on it see how it's going to do I think it'll be fine the reel is very smooth uh, and it casts really I don't know why why it would cast further what difference that would be from other reels why it would cast further but it's casting like a dream uh, it's a really smooth reel I don't care so much about this big knob it's kind of I don't know uh, the drag is very smooth as well one thing I do not I do not like and some may find this funny the drag is quiet and uh, I'd rather that drag be loud for one reason and that's so the the camera picks it up and people will hear if my drag screaming I want the people watching to hear that I know that's a silly thing to complain about uh, probably 90% of everybody else is going to appreciate that quiet drag <laughs> but the R30 uh, it, plus it looks cool I like that neon green uh, I like this the way that screws down on the reel I like this hook latch clear back here because sometimes I'm running you know four or five feet of fluoro leader <laughs> sometimes I run four or five foot of fluoro leader and I switched to these barrel swivels a while back instead of Alberta knots and uh, it's nice to be able to clip that way back here another plus um the price i kind of broke my own rule and spent a little money on a rod and reel. i think this was 80 bucks people have always made fun of me for using cheap rods and reels but those same people you know i catch more fish on a tuesday than them jabronis do all month so let them make fun of me i like this outfit it's a, it's a little more than i want to spend you know but I dig it. I think it's cool. Let's go catch some more fish with it. Fish on! The tugger too! What is that? Oh my god, it's another nice wiper. <laughs> Oh, I got enough to eat. Put this one back. What fun. They really like those big shiners. Beautiful. I never know how high to hide how high to hold this until I get back to the computer. He's beautiful. Other way. I got enough to eat. Man, running my drag. Two for two. Another wiper. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, that's a pretty one. Two for two. They just schooling up right there. I mean, two for two, that's two casts in a row. Ugh, come on. That's the fourth GoPro battery I've learned through. It's, uh, it's getting cold. Mm. I put this one on the stringer because my, my battery went dead. I wanted to make sure I filmed the release. <sighs> Try not to hurt his gills.
think he's okay. Yeah, he's good to go. I'm on my fourth GoPro battery. There. Now I can cast. Went two for two casts right there. Had to go get a battery. Had to fall on the rocks. The fish are right here and I gotta do all this stupid stuff. Oh, jeez. Ah, I think I sprained my wrist. Oh, it hurts. Worth it. <laughs> Time I took to go get the battery and uh, I put that fish on the stringer so I could film the release. I guess the time I did all that, school moved out. It's a beautiful dam when it isn't trying to kill you. If you like this video, hit the subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Leave me a comment, tell me where you're from. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>